Hello again. In this video I'd like to show you how to use a small tool for Windows called Easy BCD. Now Easy BCD is a tool used for editing the boot menu of your Windows PC. It's mainly used um, for people who prefer to dual boot their Windows machine with a, with a Linux um, that could be Ubuntu, Linux Lite, Linux Mint, Zorin OS, anything. If it's um, Linux, then this is the tool to use. Now you might be asking, why do people need to edit the boot menu? Well, in my experience, I've been um, using Linux distributions for about two years now, um, dual booting with my Windows machine. Um, and what I've noticed sometimes is that uh, after creating the partitions and going through the install of the Linux um, you reboot your system and you find that you're not prompted at the beginning of the boot with the option to boot into Windows or the, or the new Linux that you've installed. So this tool allows you to add <coughs> pardon me, it allows you to add your Linux um, to the boot menu now to do so you go to edit boot menu and then you'll see Windows 7 is there or Windows 8 whichever you've got that will appear there and it will be set by default as the default operating system so to add you just hit add a new entry and then at the top here it's asking what are you adding are you adding another Windows or a Linux or Mac OS. Um, so you hit the Linux tab. Now here, what type of um, Grub menu do you want to add? So I tend to use Grub2. Um, I always have. Um, it's never it's never failed. Uh, it works perfect. So if you click Grub2, and then in that box you can name your your Linux OS. So, say you want to add uh, Linux Linux Lite. In the drive section, it's going to ask you where you want to install Grub2, which is a Grub2 is basically a a Linux-based bootloader. Um, so here, depending on what partition you've installed uh, your Linux on, whether it be just a new partition on your current hard drive or um, or you've installed it on a completely separate hard drive, that would show in here and it would show up as an EXT4 partition, not an NTFS like that one and like that one. Just look out for the for the ext4 so you basically click that and then add entry and once that's done go back to edit boot menu and it will show there now basically what you've done there is you've named it you've said what um you've said which um bootloader you want to install which is grub2 which is for linux and you've pointed it in the right direction to where you have actually installed your Linux distribution. So once you've done that and you see Linux Lite or whatever you've installed when you've when you've um, when basically when it shows up in this box here, just make sure that Windows is still set as your default. Um, I mean that you might not prefer to. You might you might want to use Ubuntu or any kind of Linux as the uh, default um, operating system but I prefer to choose leave Windows as my default but your second your, your Linux OS will show there um, and then here you tick wait for user selection or you can select um, a time to count down from so you would tick wait for you I prefer to wait for user selection and then just hit save settings and once you've done that you can close off you can reboot your computer and then 
upon boot you will be prompted with um, first of all you'll be prompted with the Windows bootloader which you'll see Windows or Linux and then once you've hit Linux you will then be sent to the the Grub menu, the Grub 2 where you, it will also show you your Linux um, and various other options, I don't know what they're for, I've never got into that um, and at the bottom it will say Windows 7 so basically, basically you'll have two bootloaders, you'll have your Windows one which you've just edited it, edited there with EasyBCD and then after that one you will be taken to Grub2 and you will then again select your Linux and that's it it will point it to where the partition is and it will boot into your Linux and that's it, that's all I wanted to share with you guys um, because I've come across that a few times and it's really annoying uh, when you sit there waiting for the um, when you sit there waiting for it to boot and uh, it ends up taking you back to Windows again so just remember after you've installed your Linux distribution reboot it will boot you straight back into Windows again download EasyBCD and do what I've just shown you in this in this tutorial and then you'll have no problems so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video